Hi again everyone. Um, we're going to be doing another makeup look today and um, it's been requested to me um, quite a few times and it's the um, the look from Taylor Swift's video Teardrops on my guitar. Um, I'm not an avid um, Taylor Swift fan, I'm sure she's very talented um, so I haven't studied this as much as um, I may normally do but I've got a pretty good idea so um, we're going to I'm going to try and do the best I can for this look. So, starting off as usual by priming my eyes, uh, top and bottom, with Urban Decay Primer Potion. And then, I'm going to take um, any kind of really white colour for a base. So I'm using this palette um, that I have. It's just it's from Marks and Spencers in England. Um, it's just one that I happen to have. And I'm taking this very, the very pale white colour on a uh, round ended makeup brush and I'm just going to form a base on my eyes all across the eyelid nice pearly white base because Taylor's eyes are very in fact she, it is a really gorgeous makeup look that she has, it really really suits her because she's got quite small eyes so if she ever and just go underneath as well if she had a really dark makeup on probably wouldn't suit her as much because um, it would make her eyes appear maybe more squinted so do it on both eyes And just just a nice base uh, colour. Take some again. Once you, when you do the underneath, do it on the edge of the brush here. But make sure you don't get too much excess. And go all along with that. Any fallout that you get on your cheeks, you can just um, you can use a wipe or just a big brush like this to so just swoosh it away. Or oh, white probably does just as good a job. I keep saying that I'm getting the 120 Pro palette but it hasn't arrived yet and um, so I'm still for this look I'm just using um, what I already have and um, which is why I've not decided to do the um, Avril Lavigne don't tell me look for this video. I will be doing it and um, once my palette arrives. So I'm going to be taking this L'Oreal Trio again and once again I'm going to be using the silver. So we've used a white for a base and we're going to use a silver over it. Form a base a bit further up. A silver. Make sure you get it right down. Don't put yourself in the eye with the brush like I've just done. It's not clever. Ooh, that really hurts. One second. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. That was really stupid. <laughs> I think. Okay. So make sure you've got a nice shape. So all along the top. See how far I'm going up to that there? I'll rub it down. Okay, I knew that. You can use the same brush for this because the colours are so similar. It's actually such a pretty look and it, um, I've watched the video and it just goes so well with the song and everything, it's lovely. And I'm just going to make it underneath as well with this silver. Not too much. And in the corners. So you can see we've built up a really nice silver base. Okay. Keep making sure that you're wiping away any fallout. I realise that using the, what I'm using, um, it's creating quite a bit, so the wipe's the best option. But don't wipe away the colour that you've done under the eye, because that'd be pointless. Give the brush a clean. Okay. We're going to take the, the uh, trio thingy again. 
this time take the black. You don't, I don't know what I'd do without this. This uh, little thing. We're going to just make a kind of triangle in the corner. So you can see here. By the back it will work. So don't make it too severe, it looks more severe when I do this. But it will look pretty once it's all done. Blend it all in. So it's the effect of having the black at the outside. not to think as much as I am. No, just make sure you blend. So you want to make sure it's really even looking. And that it's blending in. You don't want it to look too much like a wing. So if you find that happening, you can always take and make it white and just round the edges off a little bit. That's actually a pretty good way of doing it. So it's more of like a... It's not really a wing shape, because that's not really what we want. Okay. So that's what we've got so far. Now, Taylor doesn't use much eyeliner. She doesn't have it in the corners whatsoever, she just has it here to take, oh, Benefit Bad Girl Mascara, uh, eyeliner, and just take it in here, and about halfway down, and not too much of it, just a really thin line. And then take a little on top as well. Again, be careful not to go into the inner corners because she doesn't have it there whatsoever. And then finally, take Benefits Bad Girl Lash Mascara and apply to the outer corners. wouldn't go too far in. Lovely. And then on the bottom too. Just the outer ones. <laughs> Come on now. And the same on the other eye. Okay. 
and we're done. So, this was an inspired Taylor Swift look from Teardrops on My Guitar. And um, this look's ha got me listening to more of her music, so you never know. Might uh, make a fan out of me. Um, so, that's a look for my distance. Don't forget to just finish it off by wiping away any fallout. You'll be able to see the look a little bit better in the pictures that I'm going to post. Um, but that's right about it. It's, but it's silvery and really pretty. Um, Taylor Swift look on teardrops on my guitar. And just finally, if you like my videos, um, please subscribe because um, there will be loads more coming in the future you can request. Um, I've reached 500 subscribers and um, it made my day. It's fantastic. So uh, please subscribe um, because you will get to see um, as soon as I've uploaded a new video for a new look. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.